All right, let's uh, let's keep going here. Um, it's 5:07. Let's see if there's anybody in here that we can maybe uh, steal a, steal a snack from. I don't. I haven't done this in such a long time. This uh, vampire thing with. Come on in. Just I, the fire. Take a seat. And don't know who back. sleeps when or where. Alright, that guy's not sleeping. <laughs> Delphine, she's she's sleeping. Alright, good, great. Alright. Get his potion of blood. Let's keep going. I think what we're gonna do now is I'm gonna head to Riften. What's my carry weight like? Uh it's 271. Alright. Out of 300. The reason it's 320 is because of the vampire blood is giving me bonuses. So let's get going. Um, I think we better go out, stop in White Run and drop off all of our goodies that we collected. And then, yeah, hit the road towards Riften. So I'll, uh, I'll catch you on the flip side after I get done unloading in White Run. And I'm back. Let's see. We ran over to White Run, unloaded a bunch of stuff, just mined some ore, iron right over there, and we are heading east. Maybe we can uh, get out of this dreadful rain for a change. So the idea is to get to uh, Riften. Maybe kill a. Oh. There goes the sneak attack. <laughs> Am I still using the uh, iron dagger? Yeah, yeah, we, we need this. Let's favorite those two things there. We're going to stop over here and... See if we can't uh, discover uh, White River Watch and uh, maybe take down a bandit or two. This is this is kind of what happens when you play as this vampire and uh, better vampires. have to make these uh, kind of uh, pit stops along the way um, to refresh yourself. <laughs> Powder your nose, I suppose. And as you can tell, it helps uh, refresh our stamina and Magicka and health if we were down any feeding would improve all of those situations so. Yeah, we'll get over down to Riften and get rid of uh, Gorellid start the book of love quest uh, So we can have some extra magic resistance uh, Let's see do we No, I think I put everything away and we'll do some, as I was saying before, you have to kind of plan things out a little bit more when you're doing this vampire stuff because you need to be able to, uh, we're going to stay way, way away from that mess. We're no match for a Spriggan. Not without the ability to sneak up on them. No, no, no. <laughs> So that you can stop and feed every once in a while to keep yourself fresh. Don't get wiped out by a skeever. Or two. 
Hey! She's... Ow. See, if we're in sneak mode here, I'll grab some of this. We're gonna need a lot of iron. As typical of anybody that does their own, uh, their own smithing and doesn't just pay for it. This is something you have to get used to doing. Now this, uh, you can see this, uh, ore veins in my game glow. Uh, this makes them, uh, you know, it really does make them a lot easier to see. And, uh, so this is the ritual stone. And that, uh, gosh, what is it called? The Rising Dead Creation Club? Yeah, th this ritual stone is affected as well by that Creation Club thing. And, uh. I think the Necromancer is still there after you unlock the quest, but it certainly changes this whole area. Grabbing all these uh, alchemy stuff that we'll be using. And you can say that my my health regen is extremely slow in the light, or in the daytime at least, unless I was to... Are you coming for me? Oh good, stay away and I'll just leave you be. Oh, Jesus scared me to death. So what I'm going to use, uh, the lavender and blue mountain flower can be used to to make some potions that you can just sell. Uh, again, this is not something that I really paid much attention to or learned on my own. I never really cared about alchemy. I started watching some of those major slack videos and he's all about alchemy. In fact, he's so much about alchemy, every time he says anything about alchemy, I just have to turn the channel because I've just kind of had my fill. But it's a, it's intelligent, it's smart, and it's useful. Uh, now, the Tundra Cotton I'll be using to make uh, fortify and, and uh, regenerate magicka potions. I believe it could just be fortify and restore. Uh, I need some red mountain flower and some creep cluster as well to continue this. If I need uh, a little boost to some sneak skill, I can use the purple mountain flower. We're gonna get ourselves a speech check here. Hold it. This here's a toll road, see? You're gonna have to hand over, say, 200 gold if you want to use our road. How about I just don't kill you? What do you think of that? You know, yeah. now that I think of it, that sounds fair. Just shove off before the others notice. <laughs> Alright. Thank you, we'll be on the way. We'll be on our way. All right, so let's let's just take one of these uh, vegetable soups. This is good for what? Uh, Twelve minutes. That'll help. It's not going to do much for you know unlimited power attacks because the power attacks for ordinator perks are they do more damage with the more st more stamina that you've got. And if you don't have any stamina or one point of stamina, you're just not going to get more damage. So I'm using it more as a restorative agent than anything else. And it lasts for 12 minutes, so I don't have to continuously pop potions. Frostbite spider, let's just duck down from that. We'll pretend that we're in sneak mode when we mine this ore here. Alright, that is uh, from the Ars Metallica mod. You do get you do get smithing XP for mining and smelting down ore into ingots. Or, dwer or dwemer metal into dwarven metal ingots. And this is perfect because I brought... Hey friend, it's good to see another merry soul enjoying this fine day. Ah, but you look tired. 
Come, share a bottle of hunting brew mead with me. Well, how about if you just have another one? He smears beers. You're one after <laughs> my own heart. I would love another <laughs> bottle. This good deed should not go unrewarded. Here, take this. Cheers, my friend. May your adventures find you fame and fortune. It would have been nice if they'd actually had beer bottles in their hand instead of uh, tankards. But they don't. Pilgrim's Tomb. We're not gonna... There's a chest. A chest down this pathway there. I'm not gonna go get it yet. And a bow. Um, and some gold ore. I'm not gonna bother with it at the moment. We're on this mission. Besides, if I don't discover it now, I'll probably have better goodies later. Grab up this iron here. We'll stop down at Darkwater Crossing. They've got a corundum ore mine there, and we're going to need some corundum for all the door locks on the uh, Lakeview Manor house that we can now uh, build once we purchase the land. There's usually a, there's, there's a random encounter spawn point around here. There it is, right there. I just saw, oh no, those are the revelers still. They're just walking out in front. Alright, we're going to stop off right here at, uh, was it Lost, Lost Knife Hideout? For just a... A quick bite to eat. Now the thing is, it's, um, I don't need to do this every time, but every time I feed, I can level up to the next, the next rank of, of vampirism, and that's going to significantly help us, or help this character be, become stronger and stronger. All right, so in we go. We'll just take down the two bandits here early on. We'll hit hit them with fury, and then go down and take them out. Muffle up and old flesh up. Grab Fury. You're far enough away they couldn't hear us. Let's, oh, oh, come on. With the Magicka regen, let's go. Nail that guy real quick. Back off, back off. There you go. Fight each other. Boom. Why they do that, we'll. Uh, Put some points in the Magicka. Illusion there. Uh, we probably should. We should probably keep the next one for rank for the next rank of sneak, which is right there. Because we may end up with it as soon as we can take these two guys down. We may end up. There it is. Good. Nothing here after all. Let's see what he does here real quick before we get too excited. Alright, so he's going to turn around. We might have to sneak around the back side here. Easy, huh? easy, easy, easy. Okay. Back up. We really do want the sneak attack, so we might use some of our special vampire powers here. Maybe I'm we won't sure have to. Hurt something. <laughs> Time to end Okay. <laughs> what 
We'll take the key, sure. Let's start. Our... Very good. I don't want any of that stuff. There's a. Grab those potions right there. I don't think there's anything else in here. There's a couple of more bandits over there, but uh, we only came in here for these two. And I was hoping maybe when I came back out... The uh, storm would be over. Uh, let's grab this beehive here real quick. All right, let's mark this down. There was a, the 21st of last seed. I don't think beehives ever respawn. We're going to find out. Uh, we'll, we'll be back past this way several more times, and we're going to check it out, because I don't think they do ever, ever respawn. We're going to grab all of these fish in here. There are some slaughterfish eggs. Oddly enough, there's no slaughterfish in here. So I'm not sure how the slaughterfish eggs got here. Come here, you little... Okay, okay. Yes, yes, yes. All right, I'm going to grab this up, this ore right here, and call it a video, and we'll pick you up on the next video. Thanks for watching, and catch you next time.